Hey, 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 you dirty dogs. Back at it again. Wasn't very good last week. I think I missed every single pick. But I am back at it again. Um, so I had Eagles last night, but that's not really a pick since they were minus 800. I have Tennessee beating Georgia. They're both undefeated, but I got them beating Georgia at home. They're giving them eight points. So if you want to be safe, take the plus eight. But I've got Tennessee winning outright. I think the Astros end it 4-2. Which y'all all know I've been on the Astros. I think I'm the only one that's been on the Astros all this time. So, let's see here. And then I like the Jets at home against the Buffalo Bills. Knocking off the almighty Buffalo Bills. Right there, Jets plus 460. I'm really strong on that game. But we all know that I was strong on Steelers last week and it didn't go down. Then I like the Chiefs, but that's not really a pick. It's minus 600. So I'd watch that game live, see if you can take them live. Um, and then I like the Saints on Monday Night Football. And the three that I like the most... I had to pick the three that I like the most. I'm going with the Jets, the Chiefs, and the Saints. So the Chiefs and the Saints fit a pattern that I'm seeing with um, Thursday Night Football with the Eagles winning. So when the Eagles won, home teams went 17 and nine. If the Chiefs win, they'll go 18 and nine. If the Saints win, they'll go 19 and nine. And currently, the Saints versus the Ravens are 19 and nine all time they're going to be 19 and 10 after this game so there you go Saints Chiefs Jets I like the Astros and I like Tennessee uh, I haven't really put out anything else lately on the Iraq Dinar kind of sitting around waiting but I would recommend that uh, go over to Bretling uh, Dinar, he's pretty good. He just put out a video, listened to his stuff. He's probably the only real guru out there. Everybody else is just a joke. I'm a joke. I'm considering myself as a joke. <laughs> Everyone is a joke except Brett Ling Dinar. I'm just letting you know that right now. That's coming from my brain. You have a different opinion. That's on you. But uh, Brett Ling Dinar is the only one that I think is really put out quality information and connected it to rational, non-hopium, uh, no dates, no rates. Well, he, actually, he said rate change may end up being like 50 cents, but he's also said other things as well. Anyway, have a good one. Talk to you later, you dirty dogs.